nearly 150 years, Stillman College has stood as a pillar of opportunity, particularly for black students in Tuscaloosa. Now the school is making new history as the first historically black college or university to pull out of the U.S. News & World Report's college rankings. Tonight I go in-depth with the college's president about the decision and the changing landscape of college campuses and also why the data which often defines who has access to them. Even the school's president had to see it for herself to understand. You know, Stillman is a special place. And I didn't know that until I got here. This private, historically black Presbyterian college is a liberal arts school which defines itself as deeply rooted and future driven. But it's the school's past which Dr. Cynthia Warwick says is unfairly defining it. Well, I think what the, the unfairness is the ranking. Mm -hmm. So they put a 20% weight mm -hmm. in their ranking formula on graduation rate. Steelman College's graduation rate is just 20%. The number used by U.S. News & World Report also comes from the U.S. Department of Education. It measures first-time, full-time undergraduate students given six years to graduate. Warwick says therein lies the problem. In 2015, the school dropped nearly its entire athletics department, which also led to around 200 students leaving campus. Six years later, those moves are being brought to bear. A small drop in numbers have a greater effect on the rate than if you're a big institution. Many of Stillman's students rely on Pell Grants to pay for college. Their financial challenges often directly lead to ones in the classroom. The U.S. News & World Report shows graduation rates for these students is just 8% compared to 49% for the rest of the student body. Numbers Warwick says are accurate. All the kinds of things that HBCUs do better and right, moving people out of poverty, we don't get a lot of credit because those are weighted much lower. They're rated like five points as opposed to 20. While the move is a first for an HBCU, it is not unprecedented. Some of America's most prestigious graduate schools, including Yale Law School, have already made similar moves over issues like job placement data for their schools. It was those decisions, Warwick said, which ultimately led to hers. And I started saying to my leadership and my board, I was like, nobody's talking about us. Nobody's talking about the issues that we are concerned about with this ranking system. U.S. News & World Report responded to our request for an interview with this statement, which reads in part, we know that comparing diverse academic institutions across a common data set is challenging, and that is why we have consistently stated that the ranking should be one component in a prospective student's decision-making process. Stillman College and many others are changing their decision-making process. The school stopped requiring standardized testing on applications nearly five years ago. They'll come to the, your booth at the college fair and they'll say, well, you know, what, you know, I'm interested in coming to Stillman. What kind of score do I have to have on the ACT? Mm -hmm. And I tell them, you know, well, we don't use the ACT. And they just have a sigh of relief. Really? Mm -hmm. You know, because they know their scores are lower. Now, the president says that Stillman believes that many disadvantaged students simply don't have the same access to test preparation courses and materials to make those requirements necessary.